Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading for August 2020, but whenever this message reaches you is the time it's supposed to reach you, it is the perfect time. Your overall energetic forecast, so to say, for August 2020 or when this, whenever this message is reaching you is universal love. And we have the number 44, which is the number, the master maker number doubled. So a lot of universal energy is on your side, helping you open up to more love in all areas of your life, not just romantic love, but just feeling completely loved up by the universe. And it reads, the frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. So you might want to be asking yourself throughout the month of August how you can feel more connected to yourself, to other people, to the planet, and to the whole of existence wow and there are just so many colors in this card pretty much all of this chakras all the chakra systems and it just looks like a huge explosion <laughs> so there might be some huge major changes happening in the upcoming month um changes in your relationships changes financially uh, you know, you might be moving or traveling and things like that. And just everything is starting to really expand on an exponential level. So that's something beautiful to look forward to. Now we're going to get into your story with the beloved animal totems. And throughout this video, if there's anything that really resonates with you, feel free to click the like button, consider subscribing. I always love reading your comments and feel free to share. It really helps me out and helps other people out that might resonate with this as well. So let's see what you have going on, Gemini. Ooh, tiger. So you, your divine feminine energy is definitely being activated. You may or may not be working with some kind of fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, we have sea serpent, and this uh, circle represents the alchemical sign for ether. <laughs> so, um, so even though this is ether, it could be Leo, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So, um, and this is also all about healing emotional trauma and of course your third eye might be opening. Each one of these represents a chakra. Actually, I'm going to see which one it is for serpent. Okay, the sea, ser the sea serpent card in the book says that it represents the second chakra, which is the sacral chakra, which is um, all about divine feminine energy. It's about going with one des one's desires, making life feel pleasurable and good. Um, but I also just see this as a gigantic eye. So your clairvoyance might be increasing, your third eye opening, we also have a lot of blue here, so your um, throat chakra might be opening. There might be some emotional stuff <laughs> that you're needing to express and kind of purge. And tiger is all about being fearless uh, and being able to walk through the darkness and be fearless and overcome any kind of fears or limitations in that way and she also has a crescent moon over her third eye so there's a lot of clairvoyance you know seeing the unhidden those types of things so it seems like you have a lot of powerful energy whether you are male or female in the divine feminine meaning being more receptive being more allowing universal love <laughs> allowing more love in and being fearless and walking the unbeaten path. There you have it. 
And this background, so it's interesting that there's this background that's kind of smudgy and kind of hidden. And this one is appearing to me very analytical. So there might be kind of like heart and mind kind of at war perhaps for some of you. And it's just a matter of balancing those two out, balancing the action, more of the um, divine masculine, and then balancing the divine feminine together. So, all right, now we're going to jump into the fairies and see what else they have to say about what I just covered. <laughs> Okay, Gemini, first out of the gate, I knew it, you got the dark lady. And again, like the tiger, she has the crescent moon over her more crown chakra area. And she again is about liberation and going through the dark night of the soul and freeing herself and seeing the unhidden and detecting um patterns and having going through some kind of like spirit like deep deep spiritual awakening and you know here she had you can't really see it but she has like a cesarean scar and um this card is all about the sacral chakra so there might be some deep healing that you're doing with your sacral chakra and you might want to research more about that and um so anyway you are you are really overcoming a lot of uh shadows perhaps doing some kind of shadow work we also have the number two up at the top which is again having to do with duality and balance like i was talking up here talking about up here and um you know, you might have felt very suppressed in the past and now you are growing your wings so you can fly out into the sunset, into the light and, and heal yourself and feel really liberated while also being able to see what's hidden. Being able to, you might be one of those people that just have those really amazing spiritual gifts of being able to see the unhidden within people, seeing the subconscious, and being able to transcend those things. Next up, we have the Friends card. So again, the universal love coming in, lifting you up, and being a light within the darkness. Either that is your angels and spirit guides or just the universe at large, or you have someone or a group of people coming in to lift you up and maybe you are lifting up others. And just having more and more fun, more and more lightheartedness. There was a lot of heavy energy here in your recent past, but now you're being lifted up higher and again, you're having more balance and carefree fun. And we have the number 10. So there is a huge completion and up leveling and promotions that might be happening as well. So that's always nice. And then right next to it, we have the fawn. And the fawn is your natural magic ally, your friend. Um, this could be, again, a certain person your spirit guides are angels and uh, this can also just be that magic all around you lighting you up uh, and being able to go with the flow of life going with the flow of your desires again sacral chakra <laughs> going with the flow and things just lighting up uh, you're just being raised higher and higher. Your level of awareness and consciousness is being opened up and activated. And I would recommend if you don't do this already, is just looking for this natural subtle magic all around you. Sunlight, glowing through tree leaves, uh, 
ripples and water, flowers, whatever represents magic to you. This is just all saying that you are just so supported and so loved during this time, even though it's been very dark in this recent past area, you are being lifted up into higher levels of reality and it's just getting easier and easier and you have all of this love and support guiding you all right now we have himself <laughs> so this is support this is groundedness security safety stability protection and spiritual will uh and you can see that he's lit up in the heart third eye and crown chakra so he is like the whole freaking package this could be capricorn um torres or any um or even virgo so this is someone or an energy that is very grounding and helps you feel a lot safer and secure so this could be money this could be a person this could just be a general energy and again you are just so loved and so protected there is a huge uh so this could be a person but otherwise there is definitely a huge need because it keeps coming up. I see the himself and the dark lady kind of book ending this and he's representing the divine masculine and she's representing the divine feminine. So there is a huge need to kind of balance those two. And you might want to research more about the divine feminine and the divine masculine, but basically the divine masculine is all about action and forward moving energy and the divine feminine is all about receptivity and openness and being able to go with the flow and um, the divine masculine is all about creating structure okay so <laughs> your last two for the fairies is the singer of initiation and this definitely has been a process of initiation and this is representing that this is a, a closing and tying off of a certain chapter in your life and you are in the process of birthing a whole new reality i am not minimizing the the hardship of what has gone before you but hopefully this can be a message of hope that it's over the dark chapter is over and it's being tied off to uh begin a new happier lighter more profitable chapter and era in your life and now you are looking forward to the future making plans and for some of you you have been put on a whole new trajectory or a new a whole new hot wheels track i like to say so this is definitely all very very exciting and there is a lot of exciting developments in your near future so this is amazing i am now going to get some advice just general closing off advice and we'll end on some love advice for those of you couples yes unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives this is definitely what you have been in the process of doing transcending all of this dark shadowy energy to completely free and liberate yourself so you can joyously go into this new reality into this new future just with no with nothing holding you back with no skeletons in your closet or anything and you're just completely free you're like her ascending into the moon or ascending towards the sun so that's absolutely beautiful i'm gonna see if there's one more ah, okay you got oh you got two okay you got one that says no wait postpone pause say no so there's been something that has been on your mind that you've been wondering 
about and that's your sign to just kind of wait it out and pause and reflect now is not the right time for some of you but you know of course use your better judgment this is a general reading <laughs> so um you know of course use your own personal intuition and your own heart and logic to make any huge life altering decisions <laughs> And the last card you have is Soul Family. Oh, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. And the artwork is just so beautiful. So you definitely are calling in your soul tribe, your family. More universal love is on your side. And you've never, ever been alone. Just like I always say, you're never, ever alone. Now we're going to just lastly get some love messages. Ooh. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Whoa. <laughs> and codependency addictions are affecting your romance life. Okay. Yes. So for some of you that are coupled, you might be in the process of healing some major family, family issues. And that, that's really profound. As you forgive your parents, your love life benefits and improves. And there might be some addictions that you are healing and letting go of as well. So those are your messages. I hope that this was of value to you. As I always say, know that you are so, so loved. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Know that you are never, ever alone. Continue to seek the truth. I hope you have a beautiful August 2020. Take care, Gemini. Bye.